Honey, baby, honey, child, come on out from outside. Come on out from outside. It's hot out there anyway. Come on and sit a spell because I just got to break this news to somebody. Somebody who want to listen, okay? It's almost like reading the Inquirer magazine. But y'all need to look at some articles in there too because I'm, I don't care what y'all say. The Inquirer be speaking truth, okay? They be speaking truth. And I got to give it to them. Media take out be tr- speak, speaking some truth sometime as well. But honey, baby, I knew it. It might be false, but it was just nice to hear to see somebody trying to get back on this entertainment lifestyle. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm talking about none other than Apollo Nada reuniting with his family, honey. And I'm not talking about going back to Phaedra fraudulent behind, okay? I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about re- reuniting with his kids. And is Phaedra upset about it? Hell yeah, she upset about it. She don't want him nowhere near them babes, even though they're his son, okay? And she always said they're his children, so why not let the man partake of getting to know his kids again? And at first, I thought, you know, that uh, uh last baby they had was from Mr. Chocolate. But as he keeps getting older, honey, that's Phaedra Park's twin. That young man looked just like his mama. And the first baby boy, yes, Aiden, he looks just like his papa. That's right. Now, we do have some in the media when Peter Thomas had to come up and take up for his friend. I don't like Phaedra, and Phaedra don't like me. And that's okay. But you need to let the, that man see his children, honey. You need to let him see his children. And he probably want to call her all kinds of garden tools, all kinds of itches, all kinds of low gradedness from his Phaedra paws. Okay? Because he don't care for her. Don't nobody see it for Phaedra <laughs> at this time. They really don't. But the story media takeout is bringing out is that Apollo had to sign his life away along with Phaedra because they're going to film him coming home and seeing his kids for the very first time. They say it's going to be so emotional. And I know it is. It's going to probably make me cry too. Just the fact that he's up there holding his children in his hands. You know what I'm saying? And like, damn, I did this. All right. Do you know who I am, uh, boys? Do you know who I am? But let me reintroduce myself. I am your dad. I'm your papa. I'm here, and I'm here to stay. Not with your mama, of course. You're going to have to have two separate digs because I can't live with your mama no more. But I am going to try not to call her uh, everything under the sun. I'm going to try not to call her that, okay? I'm trying to keep it Christian for her and lightheartedness and, and try not to call her out her name. But I'm telling you, I spent some time in prison, and I want my bag that I left. And it should have been accumulating interest, okay, while I was gone. But if she wanted to be salty and not let it, you know, create some interest for me, add it to that pad that I left her, she just need to come up with my money, okay? I need my money. I need my cars and a car, and I need my uh, place of residency, okay? I left all that specifically, a note displaying everything. That I needed, son. So I could come back, have y'all kind of set up in the same situation I had left y'all in, which is a beautiful house. But I see your mama done sat there and called herself selling it and moving somewhere else, making me want to stomp her two feet in the ground. But y'all didn't hear me say that. Y'all didn't hear me say that, boys. But uh, I love your mother that she gave me you all. But that's pretty much I can say for her. Let's get on into a media takeout. Now, like I said, media takeout has definitely been spoiled and tainted in the past, but they have been trying to get better. They have been trying to get better, so I had to give them praise, which well, I had to give them they just do. We don't say praise because we're not supposed to be praising nobody but the Lord, okay? But I'm going to give them they just do. But it was broken today. The story by Media Takeout staff, they didn't say who wrote it or anything of that. No, it's just a staff member. I guess they don't want to throw out no shout outs. But I just give the whole staff and who really was a, a part of bringing this story out. Hopefully they fact checked everything and they're not just playing us a boo-boo to clown. Okay. But uh, the title reads, Phaedra and Apollo join Atlanta Housewives Bravo Films meeting with sons. Okay. They ain't say with the cast because that's going to be something that's totally different. Because, you know, Phaedra ain't on the show no more. So they really can't bother her about showing. So I guess they're going to give us like a little spinoff or something. Or put it in there for extra. 
footage. You know, maybe Todd will come over there or take him over there to see his son. I don't know if he got a vehicle yet. The vehicle is supposed to have for him. You know what I'm saying? Separate from the incident he went to jail for. Or, I don't know, maybe Peter going to get up there and take him. You know, like, say she's going to meet Cynthia or whatever. And then they just have, like, another little place they have to drive around in the neighborhood. And whoops, daddy, you'll stay in Phaedra's neighborhood. Let's go see the children. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But getting back to the article, it says, according to Media Takeout News, top sources at Bravo, Apollo's first meeting with his two sons will happen next week, and Bravo cameras will be there to capture the tearful reunion between Apollo and his boys. Can I get an amen? Woo woo! Amen. All right. This will be the first time Apollo has seen his sons outside of a prison visiting area or FaceTime in more than five years. Count it, y'all. Five years. It's uh, So it's expected to be emotional. Well, wouldn't it not be willing? Would it not be? They ain't seen their papa in five years. Uh, Aiden would be the most true to the fact with emotions. Uh, um, what is name? God, I've got a little boy. Dylan would probably be like, who is you? Who is you, Hoppo? <laughs> know you. I know this other man that been coming around, mama giving me toys and, and, and playing like he my daddy, but I don't know you. I don't know. Aiden, who is this man? Okay, who is this man trying to tell us to call him Papa? Okay, I don't know him. I don't know him. But it's like Dylan be whooping on Aiden sometimes. That boy bad. I'm sorry. I, oh, he look like he bad. But anyway, that's why we need you at home, Paolo, to tame that little joker, okay? To tame his behind, because he looked like he'd be beating up everybody, okay? Even the grandmama. But anyway, moving on from that, it says, pulling off this Apollo phase reunion on the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta has been difficult for production. First off, one producer told Media Takeout News that Bravo has had to beef up security while filming with Apollo because of his, because of his criminal background. I understand that part. My pun intended my sidebar. What do you mean? A person like him, he went to jail for a white collar crime. He wasn't up there murdering nobody or killing nobody or stabbing or, 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 or you know what I'm saying? I don't understand what somebody had to be for security. They think he's going to run away? I mean, he just got out where he went to. He ain't got no money in his his account yet because he done took up um freelancing as a barber. Some skill he probably learned in prison or something he harnessed Wow, he had the skill but hadn't been practicing, so he probably really was practicing in prison, okay? So, I don't know. What are they talking about? They had to beef up security. Oh, okay. Well, going back to the video or the uh, article, it says um, they had to beef up security while filming with Apollo because of his criminal background. They also had to purchase a special insurance policy to cover them in the event anything goes wrong. Doing Apollo's filming. Now, what did they expect to go wrong? For him to go outside the age of head? I don't think he want an assault charge because that is definitely will land him back in jail, in prison. He probably been sent to population. Okay? And they probably been like, oh, man, you got back. Man, you just wanted to come back. You know what I'm saying? So let's hope Apollo keep all his hands and feet to himself. Okay? We don't even want the feet coming up trying to flap on her. All right? We're going back to um the article. It says, second... Bravo needed to give Phaedra a giant bag before she agreed to sign on. Speculation is that Phaedra may become the second highest paid housewife housewife of the season behind only Nene. Now, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true because I just don't think it's true. All right. It's enough to see Paolo come up here and do his thing. That's why they Bravo need to just have a man housewife. You know what I'm saying? Or a man house. Wise of Atlanta, house men of Atlanta, or something like that, a spinoff. And then Apollo was solidified a deal, and we ain't got to really see Phaedra that much. She just got to come do her little antics, and he got probably had to cut her a side check, you know what I'm saying? But it, you know, I think it's time for Apollo to shine a little bit, okay? Let us see him go fishing with the kids, go to an amusement park. And we ain't really got to have his fiance involved, just see him bonding with. You know, the boys and them really showing their true emotions. Not pimping the kids out that much, but just showing them reconnect. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see no women around Apollo. I just want to see him bonding with his boys 24-7. Okay? That's what I would like to see. 
All right, and then we go on to say uh, parts 45 and Nada married in 2009, split in 2014, and finalized their divorce in 2017. Uh, we don't really have to read the rest because we don't want to care about how they got together, what tore them apart. We pretty much figured it out ourselves, and he had to leave and, and go away for a while, five years, all right, to come back and face more struggles that Phaedra, I'm sure, is going to uh hook up on him. And I don't know, Paula, when you signed that deal, you probably should have paid your child support in there too, because they will probably be trying to sue you on the side to get what little money you will be making from this little uh, appearance you're going to do. I don't know how many appearances you're going to make in the new season. I don't know how many episodes they don't pay y'all for. But honey, I want to see Todd. I want to see Greg. I want to see Peter. I want to see everybody welcoming that dude home. Apollo throw him a little party and, and, you know, them spending time with the kids and reconnecting because little Ace, well, I don't know, little Ace is a little bit too big, I mean, a little bit too small to be hanging out with Apollo kids, but they probably could teach us some. You know what I'm saying? Ace might be trying to teach them some, okay? How to be upstanding. How to be the upstanding young boy he could teach uh, more than likely Dylan, okay? Uh, pa, I mean, uh, Aiden looked like he's a little sweetheart anyway. But anyway, that's all I had for this video. Uh, you can go on back to what you were doing. It was just a program breaking news segment I had to give to you all. So go back outside. Go back uh, watching TV or doing whatever you were doing before I told y'all to come and join me on the couch and sit here and let's discuss. Let's discuss this mess that's coming on my um uh, my cell phone screen. I had to discuss it with somebody. Yes, I did. I had to discuss it with somebody. So y'all get in them comments and tell me what y'all think. The homecoming of Apollo and Bravo ready to film it. Because I knew they had said something about they're going to film it anyway when he get out. But I don't know what happened to that because he's really not out. He's still at a halfway house. And they're probably saying, uh -uh, we don't want no film. And we don't want nothing done. Y'all just going to have to wait till he actually get fully released okay well he's not even housed at this halfway house anymore and that's gonna be like i said around um i think they said november 26th i don't know if that's thanksgiving or day before thanksgiving yeah, i mean it's around the thanksgiving holiday so that'll be really pleasing and, and heartfelt warm for the kids to see their dad on such a festivity type of day Thanksgiving. That's a lot to be thankful for. Okay, especially for them little boys to see their daddy be able to touch them, feel them, smell them. You know what I'm saying? Wrestle with them or whatnot. All right. But tutu, go ahead. Toodaloo. Go back to whatever you were doing and I'll catch you next video. Bye-bye.